Hello guys and welcome to my uh, Valheim Epic Tower tutorial and this is an advanced tower that you can build standalone or attached to a castle or on top of a mountain peak like I've done uh, in this shot right here and today we're going to build it in a meadow so it's a little bit easier to uh, keep the ground flat to make sure that I don't have to uh, terraform the, the landscape around me like I had to do in the mountain. But anyway, we're going to get this started by making sure, as I said, the ground's flat. So as I've done here, I've got a hoe and I've made sure everything's flat. And I'm going to start by placing these stone uh, foundations. Now, I'm going to be doing this in uh, creative, uh, as you call it. But you can do this in survival, obviously. It's just going to take a lot more resources. So I'm first going to start by a 4x4 four four of these uh, concrete, these stone uh, foundation slabs. And as I said, this is going to take a lot of resources, which is the primary reason why I've done this in uh, the creative debug uh, mode. But as I said, with a lot of ladders, uh, you can do this in survival pretty easy. So next, we're going to put these stone pillars on either side of this 4x4 that we've, cre uh, that we've created. And we're going to do this 7 high. So I'm going to fly up here and put these stone pillars seven high up and it's important that you do it seven high so that the uh, proportion of the tower is in check and it looks, uh, as I said, how it would look uh, on, on, on top of the mountain. Uh, it would look uh, in proportion with the rest of the build. So make sure this is seven high with these stone pillars. I'll do this uh, for the remainder of this shot. Okay, now once we've got those pillars uh, in place, we want to get the core wood and we want to put two core wood logs on either side of each pillar, as you can see I'm doing right here. Now this is just going to look like it's going to act more of a support, however it doesn't particularly do much, it's just for the aesthetics of the build. And core wood's one of my favourite materials on Valheim. Uh, to uh, to build with especially because you can manipulate it you can put vertical you can put it horizontal you can do all sorts like that now we want to build this three up so you want three core wood logs reaching to I believe it's the sixth uh, pillar not quite the seventh and that's because uh, obviously the core wood isn't uh, at least the two meter one isn't uh, small enough so we will replace that with a one meter core wood or uh, the, the smaller core wood logs and we'll do that to uh, finish off the uh, top of that build okay now that that's done we're going to get the smaller core woods and we're going to finish off the top so it reaches the seventh uh, stone pillar like we do here i think on one of them i accidentally miss uh, a few of the the two meter core wood logs so i just rectify that and i bring that all the way to the sixth one and then i put the uh, seventh smaller core wood on top of that to keep that flush with uh, the rest of the build so when you've got the, the uh, supports in, what we're going to do is we're going to get, uh, get the horizontal uh, 2 meter core wood, depending on which way you want your doorway, which is where I'm building right now, so the front of the build. And we're going to put the, uh, the 2 meter core wood, the horizontal 2 meter core wood, 8 high, with the doorway flush in the center, uh, like so. There's a little trick, you can put one 4 meter core wood and then... Uh, another uh, smaller two meter core wood just to keep that in line so you're not wasting any resources with uh, too much of the uh, four meter core wood. So we're going to do it again on the other side, eight up, eight high with the four meter core wood and then another eight high on the other side with the uh, two meter core wood just to keep that in check. As I said, not wasting any resources. I'm going to do that on every side. Uh, remember to leave the gap uh, for the doorway you'd like and uh, whatever side you like on doesn't particularly matter your build uh, you can customize and tailor it to your world so don't worry too much about that okay now that we've got that done we can start working on uh, the middle part of this tower so firstly, we want to get the regular uh, square cut uh, wooden beams and we want to put three on every side of the wall. So on top of the uh, core wood, you want to get three of these uh, small wooden planks across to act as sort of the rim, which is where we will eventually put the stone wall. Now, just to keep this a bit tidier, we're going to put some uh, vertical core wood 
uh, in between the uh, main core wood wall, just to, as I said, make it look a bit tidy, look like it's a beam supporting it. And uh, after that, we're gonna get our stone wall. And for each wall, we're gonna have two stone walls. Can be a bit tricky, especially if you're on a ladder doing this. So I think the best way to go about it is to look at the sides of uh, the the tower. So look at one of the um, the struts going up, then place the stone wall, and that hopefully keeps it flush, and you don't have to keep deleting blocks uh, because it's not uh, straight and it's not clipping in properly. And that's how I uh, best did that. And then on top of uh, the stone wall, we're going to also put another line of uh, this wooden trim. So three of these regular woods, uh, not core woods, these regular wooden planks across the top of this wall. As I said, to act as a sort of a border, uh, like a buffer zone, keeping the, uh, the, the brick away from um, the, the core woods. Uh, I do rectify this uh, area here, like uh, in front of the door with the two core woods uh, going up. I couldn't do it initially because it was a bit finicky as builds are in Valheim but anyway for the next floor we're going to go eight up again with the same design we did for the doorway however this is going to be for the windows and uh, this is going to be a little bit different but anyway eight up with uh, the two meter core wood uh, like so then you want to put two four meter core woods either side of the window pane just to keep it nice and tidy like that So that's eight up and then two core woods uh, on either side of the window pane I fast forward a little bit and then I include three more uh, Smaller core with the two meter core woods in uh, the top of the window pane And this is the part where I add the stone arches now the stone arches go at the very top of the core wood So that's the very top of the windows after you've put the three smaller core Forwards in the place and as I said I fast forwarded this a little bit to make sure I'm doing it correctly at the top of the stone arch you want to rim it with another uh, layer of uh, this regular wooden uh, wooden kind of struts and then we're gonna rim it with another strut uh, four struts which connects to the base of the the window wall and uh, we're gonna make uh, look like it's supported even though the support doesn't go there then we're going to put two more smaller walls on either side of the top of the stone arches like so i'm going to rim that with a wooden fence so i believe it would be three fences in the front and then two fences either side so a total of five fences for the top and if you've got that done right you could replicate it on either side which is what you'll need to do uh, and it'll have to be perfect on either side. So next we want to get the spiked wall and we want to get it flush with the core wood behind the uh, the stone arch and flush it again with another core wood uh, log pole. That might have been a bit quick, so I'm going to replicate it again in case you struggle to uh, to keep up with that. So again, we're going to get the smaller core wood and we're going to put three at the top of the window pane like that. We're then going to get our stone arches and we're going to put it at the top of the windowed area all the way across on, of the wood, of the actual core wood. And we're going to frame that with uh, the, the wood like this, the regular wood. And we're going to frame that all the way around to keep that nice and tidy and to make it look like it's got some kind of wooden trim, um, almost like a pane to it. Next, we're going to put two stone walls either side of the stone arched kind of walkway. And we're going to get uh, go back to our struts, four underneath the uh, stone arches to keep it supported like that. And then we're going to get our uh, wooden fence on uh, either side of the stone arches to make it look like some kind of balcony like that. Then we're going to go behind that with our spiked wall on top of the core wood slabs like that. Get another one for sort of the arch, the doorway, and we're going to keep it like that. I'm going to replicate that on every side, so there's another two sides you'd have to do there. Okay, next bit is uh, the roof. Roof can be a bit dodgy because it's not perfect the build it won't clip in perfectly as Valheim tends to do but what what you kind of need to do is make sure it's flush with the stone pillar now I do do this wrong so don't follow it exactly at this point because I do accidentally overextend it so I go back fix that I rectify that and make sure it's flush with the stone pillar and that way when I'm doing the sides for the uh, corners of the roof it's a lot better it looks a lot more flush as you'll see me attempt to fix when I've realized I've went a bit too far so on each side of the wall, we want to do it. These uh, these rooftops, it's the uh, 20 degree rooftops. 
and uh, the, the smaller sla uh, slanted rooftops rather than the, the larger extended ones that go a little bit more. I think it's a 45 degree angle they go up, this is just the 20 degree. Um, so it's a bit more shallower, it's not as dramatic as the larger rooftop and uh, I think it's a bit more fitting with the build. So like I said, on every side you want to go around this um, wall with uh, these, this 20 degree uh, rooftop. And then after that you want to get the smaller um, corners that go that best fit with the uh, this rooftop with the 20 degree rooftop and you want to put it on each side of the corner so each uh, corner the four corners you get the uh, sideways fitting uh, uh, rooftop which I will do right about now and I'll put that on either side of the rooftop Now after you've done that you can get to the aesthetics of the build a little bit because most of the foundation is done. You want to get the regular wooden beams and you want to go right to the edge of the roof and you want to keep the beams flush as if it's some kind of trim to keep the, the straw, keep uh, the uh, thatch as you'd call it inside the, the rooftop just to make it look a bit uh, aesthetically pleasing and uh, it looks like it belongs there. It looks like the roof actually belongs there and it's been there for you know a long time. And it's been maintained so we do that we add the beams all around the rooftop like this just to keep it nice and neat and after we've done that we are going to do it at the top and this is going to uh, do going to be done to extend the roof and uh, it's going to make it so if you have smoke any fires inside the smoke can actually billow outwards instead of you getting in uh you getting killed taking damage from any of the the carbon monoxide that builds up from the campfires and the likes of that or if you've got hearth or you've got like a lot of torches inside obviously you need some gaps for the the uh, uh smoke to, to come outwards i'm gonna build a floor as well just in case i fall or if you're in survival anyway you'd probably have to build this floor so this would be the third floor if you're british would be the second floor i suppose and uh, to this build so i'll just get that in now Okay, once that's done, I want to kind of just fix up uh, the, the edge of the build. So I'm going to get these reinforced wood iron poles. I'm going to put four on each side of the balcony. So two either side of uh, the main balcony and then two in the middle. This could be a bit expensive. So if you don't have the iron to build these reinforced wooden iron poles, you probably could get away with just either the core wood or most likely just the regular wooden uh, planks that uh, look like little rectangles that would attach to the roof but just because I'm in this creative mode I can't afford to just get away with this little bit of aesthetic. Next I want to go back inside and I want to finish in these gaps so I'm going to put core wood slabs again these four meter ones I'm going to put three uh, four meter core wood poles uh, horizontally and I'm gonna put them on every side of the build and then I'm gonna plug in the other gap with three of the two meter core wood poles just to keep it flat and uh, make it look like it's a wall and there's no gaps on any side of this build. So that will most likely be most of the build completed at this point. The only thing that needs to be done next really is a little bit of the tweaking as the, as the aesthetic of the tower and also the last part of the uh, tower roof. And then you're, you're done, then it's all about interior. So next, as I said, we want to get uh, this this rest of the, the roof done. So I'm going to put uh, four, initially anyway, of these uh, beams in, these small beams, and then I'm going to put another four uh, in the middle, in the center of the rooftop to act as some support. Then we're going to get the horizontal beams again, and we're going to rim it all the way around like this. And as I said, this would be acting as so much a gap in case you've got any fire or hearts that you need to allow the smoke to, to come outwards. Now that that's done, you can get the regular 20 degree rooftop again and do exactly what you did for the first set of roof um, to that overlaps onto the edge of the, the, the tower. And you're going to do that again, but this time connecting to the new beams, the new foundations we've just built then. I do do this wrong again because I don't actually put the, the uh, corner piece in, but just remember to put the corner piece in. Uh, otherwise you'll make the same mistake I did and you've got to delete the, those uh, four blocks that I uh, those four roof tiles that I put in 
you'll see exactly my mistake in a second once I realize that I need to put the corner piece in to keep the build actually all flowing together like I did with the first uh, set of roof. So now that these corner pieces are coming in, this will then complete the second level of the rooftop. Now for this next part, we want to do exactly the same what we did for the second uh, level of the of the rooftop. And we want to get the beams, the regular horizontal wooden beams, and we want to rim them all around exactly the same process. And uh, we want to take it all around the roof and we want to get ready to do um, the, well, mimic the same design we did uh, the first time. So we'll get the smaller upright beams either side of the corners, and then we'll put four more in the middle, as, uh, amounting to a total of eight. And then we're going to put the horizontal beams on top of them, framing the build for the last part of the roof, which will be uh, the part where it's up to you if you want to add, add the dragon heads. I like the dragon heads. A lot of people consider them tacky. I don't. I kind of like them. I know I use a lot of them but with a game like uh valheim a viking game it's just nice to have <laughs> uh, lots of dragon heads everywhere especially because there's not much uh, in terms of decoration you can actually do yet so we're going to finish this last top with a 20 degree rooftop and uh, we're going to frame that in right now and roundabout like that there you go you're done and i also have the angled um wooden timber which i'm going to put in just to keep it flush and to connect it with the rest of the wooden beams with the rest of the build which will finish off the rooftop like that i will then get uh the cross the smaller 20 degree cross i believe it is and i'm going to put that in right there like that and that will basically be the rooftop complete the rest of it is the dragon heads again entirely up to you if you want to do this i think it just makes the design look a little bit better a little bit cleaner and uh it's it follows with my my village uh, with my particular village uh, because i use a lot of dragon heads and most of my builds anyway but again you don't have to do this it's a lot of fine wood, and if you don't have a lot of fine wood, obviously, you've got no reason to do this. So there you go. That's the main part of the build done. The rest of this is going to be kind of getting the aesthetics in. Little tweaks, little things have changed along the way. So these stone arches, you can do flush on the side and put them underneath each core wood um, bracket like that. And you're going to put them on either side of the window pane. So do this exactly like this. And uh, they should sit in nice and flush with the side of the wall and it shouldn't fall off if anything falls off make sure to check the terrain because the terrain might not be level and on this game you need a level terrain to have an equal amount of support on either side of the build uh, we want to then get some more timber frame I'm gonna frame this uh, stone arch that we've built on either side of the window on either side and we're gonna put that all the way on uh, each four four corners of the tower and then we want to get the smaller build, uh, the smaller wood. I'm going to frame that again so it's completely boxed in and completely cased in. Almost like a sort of uh, flower area. You know, a lot of people, continental style, will put flower pots on their, um, their, their window balconies. Something like that. You know, maybe in the future if they ever had flower pots, you could do that. But right now, it's just... It, you know, it, it's just a bit of depth to the build. It's making it look like it uh, stands out a little bit more. Um, it's not just a flat structure. You know, it's got some um, some actual depth to it. The next part is adding these crosses on every side other than the doorway. So the doorway is the only side that doesn't need these crosses. So you want to put three of these across the build. Not in front of the doorway because that's where we're going to build the porch. Which the porch can be a little bit tricky as well. So I'll show you how to do that. But first, before we put the porch in, we want to make sure there's another strut of uh, framing for the base of the build. So you can see here, on either side of the wall, I'm putting in these wooden beams, one slightly, well, two of them slightly intrudes outwards. And uh, for the rest of the build, I'm going to rim that all the way around the tower. And that's because when you're inside the tower, you can actually see outwards a little bit from the core wood gaps. So I don't really want to see that. I want to see it all completely flush inside. Um, you, there's literally no outside light coming in aside from the windows and uh, the rooftops where the smoke can uh, billow out so i'm going to rim this all the way around the build like this which shouldn't take too much resources which then leads me to the porch the porch as i said is a bit tricky sometimes because it doesn't connect in properly so what i do is i put in a, a horizontal beam right in the center like so try to get it as accurate as you can and i put the uh, uh the the different type of roof the more angled roof and i put them on either side of the beam and I frame that with two more uh, wooden beams and uh, with another angled uh, wooden beam like this just to keep it flush and to keep it connected with the rest of the build. And I put another crisscross like that. You don't have to put dragon heads on top of that. So don't worry about that because that will be a bit overkill, I think, even coming from me. 
and uh, I want to put the struts leading all the way back down to the ground and if you haven't got your ground level you could always get the hoe and adjust this a little bit this, I, I had to do I believe in part of this so I'm going to bring these all the way down I'm going to bring two uh, smaller beams connecting these two larger beams with a fence and I try connect it to the very base of the build but again it doesn't matter too much because the porch can be tailored towards your environment you don't even need a porch if you really don't want one and this is just me altering the landscape a little bit so that's uh, perfectly flush or in my head that's a as flush as it can get it looks a lot nicer in the mountain biomes but as i said for the purpose of this build we're doing it in the meadows the next part is again purely aesthetic if you want it in you can i have the colors of my village which is the red banner and i put two red banners on either side of uh, each tower so uh, if that's a total of eight two four six eight yes i can count eight uh, banners across either side of the tower just a bit more flair to it just a bit of aesthetic aesthetics i suppose if you're on like a faction server you could do multiple different flags and uh, to see which faction owns what and uh, yeah that that would be that but obviously it's quite resource heavy so you don't have to do that and that's it that's the main bulk of the build done the next part is the interior which i'm not going to complete for you in this video but i'm going to show you an idea of how you could do it so for here i would probably rim this off with more wooden planks so this is exactly what i'm doing here this just keeps it ni nice and uh, tidy inside and doesn't have these large uh, stone gray slabs just protruding outwards and they look like they don't quite belong so i want some uh, foundation for them uh, that would fit with the rest of the build with the ladders it's entirely up to you how you'd like to place them i had to experiment here to see which ladder would go where and how i'd like it to tie in with the interior but again it doesn't matter i end up changing my mind and you don't have to follow along with this because it's entirely your build and i'm not going to do an interior video uh for this tower it's kind of just entirely up to you and i will give an example of what i've done or what i had done uh to to spruce this up to make it look like uh it's lived in and its purpose was basically a stronghold point like an outpost where two guards would sleep in and to to patrol that area to control that like that uh that that region or that those set of resources so this is what it's supposed to be sort of like a, an outpost rather than like as someone lives here all all year you know all your time so um yeah so with the bottom of this i'm also going to rim this with wooden planks just to keep it in line with the other uh wooden planks at the top so i'm going to rim that all the way long like so and as i said it doesn't particularly matter where you put this tower but with the floor you want to keep it below the wooden planks here just so uh it's it can act as the second floor and i suppose this is where the 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 soldiers would sleep i suppose or where you'd want to build your storage facility it doesn't matter too much as i said it's entirely up to you what you do with the interior um with my build also you, uh, on the windows you can use black banners that could act as like curtains um they, it's a lot better than just having an uh, an empty gap which i do show you in uh, my interior build now that we've got the second floor done, I'm just going to get the smaller, um, uh, the smaller two by twos, I believe. Oh no, one by ones. That's it. And we're going to fill in the rest of the gaps here, just to keep that flush. And that that's basically it for the for the tower build. You really don't need to add much else for the ladders. It doesn't have to be a fancy ladder. It doesn't have to be a fancy stairway. And for the third floor or the second floor, if you're British, we want to put the two more ladders from that point onwards, leading to the next floor. And I'll probably have to delete some planks here, like so. And I'll replace that with the one by ones. So it's all nice and neat, nice and tidy. And uh, you're not wasting any resources by overlapping anything. And that's it. You've done it. You've, you've completed this tower build, this advanced tower build. It's a lot of resources. It's very resource heavy, but it does the job in its aesthetic. And it does well. And as I said, this is the example of what I've done in the mountain biome and uh, this first floor is sort of a crafting area with a little christmas tree that i spawned in you've got all sorts in here you've got a dining table you've got dining chairs you've got your collection of wood uh, as if they need to like, burn it to keep warm in the winter obviously you're on a high mountain i've got these black banners to act as the curtains and i've got mounted shields on the wall with the beds and the rugs and i've got a portal room at the top because this actually does have a utility on my main world i really hope you've enjoyed this build i really did spend a lot of time trying to work out how to perfect this build as i said do what you want with it it's your build you don't want to just copy someone else's interior make it your own add what you want give it some utility in your world and let me know if you really did enjoy it and let me know what you used it for i want to know if you used it in your base you want to use it as an outpost just 
tell me how you used it. I love to see people using my builds. But anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos because there will be a ton more builds to come. Thank you for watching, guys, and hope you enjoy in Valheim.